Aloha. You're watching F5 Web Media On Demand. I'm Peter Silva, Technical Marketing Manager at F5. And some of the earlier videos today, we've been over at Mandalay Bay at the Interop Convention. We are also here in Las Vegas at the Sands Convention and Expo Center at EMC World. How did I get here so fast? Not really, it was a taxi. But anyway, we're here with Michael Fabiano. He's a Corporate Systems Engineer for F5 Networks. Hello. How's Thanks for joining us today, Michael. Thanks for having me, Peter. And so you're going to talk a little bit about this uh, hybrid cloud and the hybrid cloud demo and what yes. our ARX product yes. is doing for that? Absolutely. Yeah, so basically what I'm going to do is run through a quick demonstration of the F5 ARX cloud, hybrid cloud demo, which will highlight all of the EMC NAS product lines stem spanning uh, VNX, uh, EMC Celera, Isilon, Data Domain, Atmos, AT&T Public Cloud with Synaptic. So yeah, that's pretty much what we're going to be doing. Cool, let's check demo. it out. All right. So right here I see you got a topology, a little uh, PowerPoint slide. Let's go through this a little bit for our viewers. All right, so basically the ARX is a layer two in-band proxy switch. So to the client and end user, win home, home dirs, it we look at like we're a file server. And to the back end file servers, the ARX looks like a client. And that's the proxy nature of the ARX. Again, there aren't any spindles. We sit in-band. No, no stubs, we use metadata for the file and, and directory information. Basically, we work with the SIFS and NFS protocols. We, we do not work with SAN, so to speak, but if you had a, a SIFS or NFS gateway in front of a SAN, we'd be able to virtualize that as well. So basically what, what you're seeing here is a tier one. So this could be a, a Solera or VNX. Tier two could be an Isilon data domain or SIFS with Atmos. And then here with tier three, you basically now have an archive tier with the cloud with EMC Atmos, AT&T Synaptic. You can even have a data domain NFS export within a SIFS namespace uh, by way of the ARX cloud extender. So, go ahead. Oh no, so right here, you know, for those of you who might not be aware, a hybrid cloud, we've heard public, we've heard private. Yep. Hybrid clouds would be situations, would be a combination of a public, private, or an organization that might have their own data center, Correct. and then using a cloud service provider for bursting, yep. for disaster recovery and those sorts of scenarios. Correct, that would... Correct. and all of this is facilitated by the ARX Cloud Extender via its REST API and interface. So basically it allows you to write to your object store through our managed volume. So let's see the demo. All right, let me segue into the demo piece now. Oh wow, a lot of little windows going on here. All right, so basically, like I said, we're the, we're the logical representation of back-end storage. So this could be Joe Smith, home Durs, win home user sitting at his desk, which is the F5 ARX virtual IP or managed volume. And that was represented with the Q drive right here. Tier one, as I mentioned, you have the EMC Solera and the VNX series. That's your more high-end, crit higher uh, critical data sets. You need access to those 24-7. So this is data that's typically less than 90 days old. Then you said we have tier two set up with EMC data domain, Isilon, and Atmos SIFS. This data is typically older than 90 days, but less than a year. Sort of critical, quasi-critical, but Again, you don't want it commandeering the lion's share of your primary tier one real estate. So then you have the tier three cloud tier, which has the capability by way of the ARX cloud extender to write out to the AT&T Synaptic public cloud. Or if you want, as Peter alluded to, you want a private cloud within your own data center. Why not? You write it through the ARX cloud extender to your EMC Atmos. Or, if you want to leverage the dedupe and compression of your data domain on an NFS export, again, ARS Cloud Extender can write to that back-end file system via SIFS, but it's an NFS export. So let me show a quick demo here. So basically what I'm going to do is take the file set right here, a data set. Again, it's just random text files and documents. There's been pre-established policy set up on the ARX. Which I'll, which I'll walk through that'll show different types of combinations and uh, gymnastics, file gymnastics, that the ARX performs, all transparent to the end user. So let me copy this data set. Again, client view. I'm gonna paste it into the client view. Yeah. 
So immediately what you're going to see among all of these different tiers and shares is the data just got spread all over the place, okay? Again, to the end user Q drive, it's all transparent. They look at it as if it's all in one place. So I'll first start off by speaking towards inline file placement. So this could be like MP3 files that you don't want a living or, or residing on your tier one. So what we've done is just set up a policy rule, have it automatically go upon import to your isolon. You know, really high-end media, rich media. I go down to my MP3 file here. You'll notice all MP3s that was in this data set will reside on that file system. So basically, you're playing your fi your music files off of the isolon. It'll never go up to tier one, which is great because it's not, again, taking out primary tier one real estate. So now, I'll speak towards capacity load balancing. You know, you know, one of the things that gets maybe confusing sometimes with end users or, or administrators is, it, sometimes the, the idea is tier one is is always access files or files that are accessed on a daily basis. Yep. And that's it's really not the case. It's more the critical files as defined by the IT policy Correct. or the administrator. So this end user might hit those MP3 files every day. Right. And and in some you know some mentalities, oh, that has to go tier one because it's it's getting requested so beauty, on a daily basis. So the beauty of that is when that when those MP3 files get automatically placed uh, through inline file placement to your Isilon share. Now you're, you're reducing your footprint, your data footprint on your primary tier one, which dramatically reduces your backup windows. So all of yep. those MP3 files that were taking up terabytes of space, now is on your Isilon, and your daily incrementals and weekly fulls have shrunk dramatically from, say, 30 hours to three. Nice. And saving money, too, of and course. And saving money by reclaiming primary tier one. So that's the example for the Stripe directory. Again, it's in a round-robin format. You have files. A, B, C, D, E, F. So what you'll notice on your tier one, Celera, B.txt. Tier two, now, if we go into the Stripe directory. Hello. There it is. C file, and so on. So if I go back, And you have a D file. So basically, it'll go in a round robin format, placing data in each of your back end shares if, if you wanted to do that. Capacity load balancing, if you want to put 25% on one, 25% on another, we allow you to do that. So now, what I'll show you next is the, we have extension based policy. I'll quickly run through that one over here. This one runs on tier two. You'll notice all the files with .abc extensions go to the data domain file system. All files with DEF go to your Isilon file system. And all files with GHI go to your Atmos SIFS tier 2 file system. And lastly, you have your cloud data. You have your data that's older than a year. Crufty data you don't want anywhere. You need it though, right? For what? HIPAA? and. Well, yeah, regulations, regulations, regulations you right? You need it for seven for a years, amount of time. but you don't want it living on tier two or tier one. So where do you put it? Put it out to a public cloud, or put it into an inexpensive uh, private cloud within your uh, lab. So basically, you'll notice down here in tier three, you have extensions. You have extensions for Cloud AT and Public Synaptic, Cloud Private Direct to Atmos via ARX Cloud Extender. So again, via REST API, private cloud. And then you have the ARX Cloud Extender going to an NFS private cloud on your data domain. Again, leveraging all of the EMC platforms, all of this being managed via the policy engine of the ARX. So basically, what you notice here is there's an offline bit that is telling me or telling the end user that that file is out in the cloud. So this is real. This is a real live demo of data out, out on AT&T Synaptic based on the, uh, the URI destination set up with the ARX Cloud Extender policy. Again, this the Cloud Private Atmos file direct out into the private Atmos cloud. Private data domain, again, offline bit. So what a quick way to demigrate it out of the cloud, go up to say your Atmos, 
double click it. You got some data in there, write to it, file, save, boom. No more offline bit. That means it has been demigrated and is now local in your local storage, no longer in the cloud. But the policy is continuously running, so that after like five minutes, say, it goes back out into the cloud. So again, it's not taking up your tier one real estate. And even down here, I noticed you got a rest bit, and this one went went back to live like right. instantly. Yes. Yep. That's pretty cool. So, B, I'm just, I'm just, uh, I want my files on my laptop. Right. And then on the back end, not only does it distribute via the tiers by policy, but even within the tiers themselves, Correct. Yep. it starts to then distribute down based on whatever criteria among, they... Among, among all your tiers, one to three. And again, three cloud, that could be bumped up to tier two if you want. That doesn't, you know, for demonstration purposes, we want to highlight all of the EMC product portfolio. But again, this tier three, cloud, public and private, can easily move up to tier two if you want it easily. That's pretty good. Cool. It's pretty interesting stuff. I'm I like it. I am psyched. He's I'm really excited about this. He's psyched. <laughs> and we're and I'm Peter Silva. <laughs> right. Thanks for your time, guys. Take it easy. So here again, you can see F5 not only over at Mandalay Bay at Interop, but also over here at the Sands Convention and Expo Center at EMC World. What's the booth number here at EMC oh. World? Um, 911. 911. So call 911 for your cloud storage virtualization products. Hey, thanks today, Michael. Thank nice you, job, by the way. Thank you very much. And so, and so for Michael, I'm Peter Silva, and we're with F5 Networks. See thanks you. for watching.